All right, man. Some Detroit Pistons fans are calling for Dwayne Casey's job. You got people on YouTube that criticize Dwayne Casey, say he need to coach better, don't know shit about basketball. But, hey, let's talk about it. We back. Motor City Sports Talk. We in the building. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. Appreciate the love support, all right? Um, Obviously, I don't think Dwayne Casey should get fired. Um, You know, Dwayne Casey did a great job at rebuilding the Toronto Raptors. Maybe people could say, that was like Joe D, you know, getting like Ben Wallace, Rip, and Tayshon, and Billups, and um, some of those guys together and catching lightning in the bottle and building a championship team an unconventional way that probably never happened again in the history of the NBA, especially to a mid-sized market, all right? But, you know, I don't think that's the case. I think Dwayne Casey, he can coach. I do have some issues on, on how he utilize some players. Like Christian Wood should be getting more than five or six, ten minutes a game. Okay. I feel that Sioko Dumombo, whatever his name, he should be playing. He can't be no worse than Tony Snell. He can't be no worse than Thine Maker. He can't be no worse than Langston Galloway. I don't feel like why the Pistons and a lot of problems gotta be with personnel wise. They don't have a general manager. Ed Stefanowski got some stupid ass role name. Malik Rose is supposed to be the assistant the assistant general manager or the general manager. Or a president in in, in, in 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 learning, you know, he's like in an internship. They don't know nothing about basketball in the front office. That's the problem. Okay, the team is old. All right, you know, I hate to agree with Mike Valenti, but the team is old. Derrick Rose looked good for a minute, and everybody was had a pom poms, including myself, or myself. But he he ended up getting injured. Now I thought it was just I thought it was just rest management. You know, that's what I thought it was. But then he started missing like a few games. I'm like, oh, he really had a hamstring issue. And that's what I said before. You can't depend on Derrick Rose to be a full-time starter no more in the league. And that's just what happens. You know, him and Reggie Jackson. And Reggie Jackson not going to say nothing when he get back. With his injury history, his inconsistency, him and Derrick Rose, they make one together. They make one full-time starting point guard. Okay? That's just what it is. You know, people, oh, Derrick Rose is an all-star. Like, them days is over with. He's a guy... That can give you a little bit in spurts. You know what I'm saying? But he a guy, if you get him fresh in the playoffs, and you can get Blake Griffin fresh in the playoffs, they can get you a series. Sometimes individually, and most of the time together, if they fresh in, 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 uh, in April and May, you get that far, they can win you a series. They can get you a couple games at least. Okay? But they got to be fresh, and they got to be healthy. You go to Andre Drummond, his rhythm still kind of kind of messed up because guess what happened? When you get other good players around that, that need the ball, guess what? He's back to being a, a cleanup man in the paint. So he no longer the vocal point. He no longer going to put up 20, 20, 30 shots on a consistent basis. Now you got Luke Kennard. He's still being aggressive from what I seen last night. That's good. But when it boiled down to it, a lot of the personnel issues, man, they tried to, they tried to, you know, make this on the fly and try to put something together before they got to rebuild. And, it ain't working. Now, you can say, well, once Blake get his rhythm going, but then Blake got to learn to play with the new Luke Kennard. He got to learn to play with Derrick Rose. Then, not only do these new guys got to learn to play with each other from Tony Snell and a lot of these guys, the guys that was the vocal point that found out that they good with the ball in their hand, like Bruce Brown and Andre Drummond, um, they got to they gotta fall back into the roles they once was or roles they not good at doing um, in Bruce Brown. Okay, so, you know, Dwayne Casey got a lot of things to figure out. The team got a lot of things to figure out. So you hope Blake Griffin can return to form uh, from the injury and, you know, knock the rust off. And that happened. You hope Derrick Rose can knock the rust off. And then, once again, you got to implement Reggie Jackson into the into this equation. And then they got to adjust to play Reggie Jackson. <laughs> you know, so really the season not going to really start until Reggie get back. And then they got to learn to play with each other. Then he got to figure out a rotation because you go Reggie, you go Luke, you go uh, Morris, Blake, Drummond, and, you know, that's five. I'm just not saying that's the starting five because it's the basic. You go Snell, you go Rose, you go um, Don, you go Christian Wood. I mean, dude, I know I'm missing somebody, but if you got, but you got to find out a rotation. Who play good with each other? Who don't play good with each other? You know what I'm saying? So, you know, the season's not going to start to like Reggie Jackson really get back. You know what I'm saying? And, um, like I said before, man, you know, this ain't Dwayne Casey fought. He do need to find a rotation of about eight, eight, nine guys. I say in the regular season, nine guys 
that that that's consistently gonna play the same role every night. And me personally, first off the bench for Drummond would be Christian Woods, not Thine, not nobody else. Christian Woods. If you're gonna have Morris come off the bench, he gonna play that role that Blake Griffin played. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna have Snell come off the bench if that's the guy you're gonna roll with. Then he's gonna be able to occupy the two guard spot. That'll be my guy, the two in the wing. You know, obviously Derrick Rose is gonna be that point guard combo guy. You know, and that's just what I'm rolling with. You know, but no, I don't think it's Dwayne Casey a problem. It's just a team you build up with a lot of injury prone old dudes and um and, and some a lot of pieces nobody else wanted. And that's just what it boiled down to. And and it, this team is not good right now. But once they if they jail together, if Blake come back get healthy, they get Rose a chance to get healthy, Reggie come back healthy, then you got a chance to do something. But right now, I wouldn't bet on NBA players getting healthy throughout an 82 game schedule. You know, you just can't count on it. You know, he got to find a rotation. He got to find out who play good with each other. And if that means putting some starters on the bench, something, uh, you know, at some point, well, you're going to have to do that. You know, if Derrick Rose and Luke going to be your power off the bench, then you got to do that. If it means mixing and matching some guys in there and trying to find your way. But unfortunately, they don't have that time period. Once, once January, February get here, they got to hit the ground running for real. They got to hit the ground running for real. Everything got to click by the middle of January for them to be a threat. But you think they competing with, with uh, Philly and, and with Boston and uh, who else you got up there? Uh, Philly, Boston, Milwaukee, you know, some of them teams, man, you're not competing with those guys. Not right now. Teams is old and don't got enough shooting. And that's the unfortunate you know, part about it, but hey, maybe you find some guys in there. But you know, I, you know, the, the piss is not gonna do the right thing if they're not going and turning in the right direction by the trade deadline. They're gonna rock out with it. Watch what I tell you. Which they should be sellers. Somebody might need Derrick Rose. Somebody might need Blake Griffin. Somebody might obviously need Andre Drummond. I'll be sellers. I just burn it down and build it back up. But the problem with that is you don't have a, a general manager. You don't. You need a general manager. Why you got guys like Sylvie and Kyrie Thomas? Why are you holding on to those guys if they never going to contribute to the team? At least we know Joe Johnson can play in the league. He got a rep. They kept they kept Sylvie and Kyrie Thomas, and they can't even stay on the floor. So it's been a lot of bad, bad personnel decisions is what I'm hitting at. Dwayne Casey ain't the general manager. He don't make those decisions, so he don't have nothing to build with. At least in Toronto, he had a young DeMar DeRozan and. You know, somehow he was able to remix Kyle Lowry and make him something that ain't happening with Reggie Jackson. But the team ain't the team ain't really ain't really good. And I think they they may end up being sellers, but they're not gonna do the right thing if the team ain't good. They're gonna rock out with it. They may remix some things next season. Instead of just tearing it down, being bad, and building it from the ground up and trying it that way, they won't do it because they're moving into that new arena. But Dwayne Casey, he ain't the perfect coach. And no coach is. And I think I don't always agree with his rotations. But he's starting to show some things and, and, and do some things with Luke. And, and they're doing some things. But really, who else you going to get better than Dwayne Casey to come to Detroit that's going to come here with no, with no with, without great leadership? That's a problem with Detroit teams. They say Detroit is the worst state when it comes to professional teams. Look at the ownerships. The Illiches since uh, old boy, the Illich, big Illich, whatever. <laughs> the old Illich pass, it's been terrible, bro. The Red Wings went down. The 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 the, the, the uh, Tigers going down. Tom Gores, he don't know what he's doing. Okay, the Force always been trash. That's what you talk about. The leadership of Detroit sports teams, you know. And until they get until some of these uh, teams get better leadership, uh, and better owners, it's gonna be in, in this state of mind. None none of these teams don't want to win. In my opinion. And they don't know what they're doing. I can do a better job than that. All these dudes, in my opinion, I definitely do a better job than Bob Quinn and Ste- Ed Stefanowski. He's a fucking idiot. Okay? But, hey, it is what it is. Motor City Sports Talk. Don't forget we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out to the email. If you got business, question, inquiry, sponsorship, and video requests, keep sharing the videos. Want to make a donation? That link's in the description. Best way to donate is share, share the video. And I do appreciate it. And check our Piston playlist out. We've got Lions playlist, College Sports playlist. And a few other ones. Check my other channel out, Goodfellow Sports TV, for more sports, music, entertainment. One time for the one time we gone.